Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see custom detections in Microsoft 365 Defender. So with custom detections, we can proactively monitor for and respond to various events and system states, including suspected breach activity and misconfigured endpoints. This is made possible by customizable detection rules that automatically trigger alerts as well as response actions. So these custom detections work with advanced hunting, which provides a powerful, flexible query language that covers a broad set of event and system information from the network. We can set them to run at regular intervals, generating alerts and taking response actions whenever there are matches. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and show you how to create and manage detection rules. Okay, I am logged on to the portal. So you have to click on custom detection rules under detection rules on your uh, Microsoft 365 Defender. And the required permissions for managing custom detections is to that one should have a security administrator roles. So you can add users with this Azure Active Directory role who can manage security settings in the Microsoft 365 Defender portal and other portals and services. Then you can also be a security operators. That role can also be added using RBAC role in Azure AD. The users can manage alerts and have global read-only access to security-related features, including all information in the Microsoft 365 Defender portal. The security oper operator role is sufficient for managing custom detections only if role-based access control is turned off in Microsoft Defender for endpoint. If you have RBAC configured, you also need the manage security settings permissions for Defender for endpoint. And what you can do is, if you want to <clears throat> manage the role, the global administrator can assign the security administrator role or security operator role in Microsoft 365 admin center. So if you will go to ad, admin.microsoft.com, I do not see the roles option on my left pan. Let me click on show all or I should search for roles here. I see roles assignment now. If you do not see any option on the left hand, please click on search and type in roles, whatever you want. And then you have the Azure AD. Now you can assign Azure AD built-in roles to users who need access to other admin centers. So if I look for a role, I'm sorry. Clear the filter. I am you look I'm looking for security admin. Here is the security admin. You click on here. You can add a user here. And that user would have a security admin role. Okay. Now if you want to create a custom detection rule, first of all you'll have to prepare a query. I'll go back to my portal. First of all, you need a query. So in Microsoft 365 Defender portal, you need to go to advanced hunting. And then select an existing query or create a new query. If I create a new query here, So when using a new query, run the query to identify errors and understand possible results. And make sure that to prevent the service from returning too many alerts, each rule is limited to generating only 100 alerts whenever it runs. Before creating a rule, tweak your query to avoid alerting for normal day-to-day -day activities. So if I use uh, built-in queries like this, Let me just cancel it first. This is the sample query. So this is a sample query that I have, right? And if I click on run, 
because there is no result because i do not have any kind of uh, so if i go for device events and if i create a new query query in editor and if i write a new query let's say device events where ingestion time is greater than 1 day enter and then you see where where uh, action type is equal to antivirus detection then start a new line summarize time stamp report id to and uh, under count by device id is greater than 5 okay now you will have to create a new rule uh, sorry you will have to create a new rule and provide alert details so with the query in the query editor you can select create detection rule so this is a query let me get an option where it says create detection rule okay so you see this option here you click on it and it will bring up the page to create a detection rule mm -hmm. okay give me a minute let's try again Okay, now it came up. Now you'll have to type in the detection name. Name of the detection rule should be unique. You can say, for example, I'm saying this. Frequency, you mark the frequency interval for running the query and taking action. Let's say we do it uh, every 24 hours. And then you have to type in the alert title. It is displayed when alerts are triggered by the rule. It should also be unique. Uh, sample title. Severity, you can mention the severity. So it will uh, give you the potential risk of the component. Then category, it can be a threat component or activity identified. Uh,
I'll say initial axis. The Maitri technique, it can be one or more attack techniques identified by the rules as uh, documented in the framework. This section is hidden for certain alert categories including malware, ransomware, suspicious activity and unwanted software. You can do this. This is just for the sample description. More information about the component or activity identified by the rule. Okay, so there are some recommended actions, additional actions that responders might take in response to an alert. Hit next. Impacted entities. You can identify the columns in your query results where you expect to find the main affected or impacted entity. It can be from address, whatever I'm say device ID. Okay. Actions, what actions do you want to take? You want to isolate a device, you want to collect investigation package, you want to run the scan, initiate investigation, restrict app execution. Files. What do you want to do with the files? Then this is the submit option after completing all the actions. So this isolation, so if I tell you about, so this isolate device, defender for endpoint to apply full network isolation, preventing the device from connecting to your, any application, collecting packages would collect device information in a zip file, antivirus scan run would perform a full Microsoft Defender antivirus scan, initiate investigation would in initiate an automated investigation on the device. A restrict app execution would set restrictions on device to allow only files that are signed with the Microsoft issued certificates to run. And the action on files would uh, allow or block can be applied to the files. Blocking files are only allowed if you have uh, remediated permission for files and if the query results have identified a file ID such as SHA-1. Once a file is blocked, other instances of the same file in all devices are also blocked. We can control which device group the blocking is applied to, but not specific devices. You hit on next, you submit it. And see, this is the rule that uh, would run. And if you want to see the custom detections rules, now you would see, you know, you should see a custom detection rule. There it is. So, and then you can review this rule. You can either turn it, you can modify the query or you can turn off the rule itself or you can delete the rule as well, whatever you want. All right. Then you can uh, view the existing rule like I'm doing. You can take actions on the query results. Uh, whatever actions are there, you can take more actions onto the query result. If you want to quarantine files, if you want to see the uh, actions on emails, if you want to review the actions, then you want to, if you want to link the query actions to an incident, that can also be done. And that is how you can use advanced hunting with KQL queries and detection rules, or sorry, the custom detection rules for the Microsoft 365 Defender. I hope this was informative for all of you guys. If you have any further queries, please mention them in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.